How's it going? Welcome back. Have you ever wanted to play funky bass? You ever wanted to sound like P Funk and Larry Graham? Probably not. But if you do, you might like this video and I'll show you a little bit about how to play really basic beginner funk bass. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So get yourself a bass, and let's learn how to play some funk. play some funk bass. We're gonna learn how to play some basic beginning funk bass. So there's two things that you need to learn. One is the thumb hammer-on and the other one is the finger uh, finger pick. So you have to master those two moves, the hammer on and the pick. So first you work on the hammer on. Try it with open strings or with the fretted note. And I'll do it in slow motion. You're hitting with the side of your thumb, basically where the bone is here and you're kind of hovering above the strings and you're rotating your wrist your actual whole forearm rotates and you kind of are going in a almost like a cyclical motion and you're hitting that string basically pop it and you release immediately so that it will ring out. So if you bounce right off of it, I'll do it in slow motion. So you get the idea. So you'd have to practice doing that. Until you can control it. And then you also work on doing it on the A string. And you thumb pop the first two low strings and then you finger pick the top two higher strings. And you usually do octaves for the funky bass like so. So you 
You're basically hitting the hammer on with the thumb on the root note. That's A, the fifth fret. Then you do the octave. basically you're doing the octave thing and you can do that all up and down the fretboard. But, you know, you can also jazz it up and do other riffs involved in between. combining different riffs and different things, you can make it sound even more funky. different stuff playing around. Also very important what you don't play when you do play. So and all your pausing. to build up your calluses on your fingers and on your thumb. It might even hurt when you're doing it. You kind of have to be able to hook your finger underneath. So it takes a little bit of practice to be able to do that. your basic funk bass all right thank you for watching all right guys thanks for watching uh, just a couple of last things to add uh, regarding the bass and when you're playing funk bass <coughs> I usually use a pretty good amount of compression uh, and I was using chorus but that's not necessary and the other thing is that I pump up the mid-range on the EQ on the bass amp. And so make sure you have a really fat, thick bass tone with a lot of gain so that when you're hitting the strings, it'll ring out on the and sound nice and thick. So just one last note there. All right, well, I hope I see you guys again. And thank you for watching.